Hi, Mark Petrie here. I uh, wanted to show you a little bit about Creative Kit that is part of Google+. Plus. Creative Kit is a great way to do basic photo editing with some great tools and it's completely free with your Google Plus account. Uh, I thought I'd do this because I just read that uh, the Google product called Picnic, which was a photo editing system, uh, they're closing it down and I thought, well, you know, they're not really closing it, they're just sort of moving it to Google Plus. So whether or not you've used Picnic in the past, uh, this is a great uh, tool that you can use now, starting right now. Uh, so here's a photo album on my Google Plus uh, page that I did a video shoot recently for Carolina Premier Bank. So I'm just going to pick a photo and when you click on that photo you come up in the canvas. The canvas allows you to uh, go right into Creative Kit. You see it on the top left. So I click on Creative Kit and uh, it brings up my photo and all the options that I have for uh, manipulating this photo. So we'll go through some real basic things and uh, I'll try to enhance this picture. As you can see it's really faded out. It was taken on a cheap cell phone camera uh, before I upgraded to my iPhone and uh, it's a little out of focus and, and it may not even be usable at the end of the day. So let's just try to uh, uh, fix it up as best we can. So uh, I really like the picture. This is uh, Mr. Craig Baum, and, and uh, he's a great guy, the bank president of Carolina Premier Bank. If you're in Charlotte, it's a fantastic bank. Uh, anyways, uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll crop it because there's too much going on in this picture. So I'm going to crop it. And the thing that I'll do is I'll actually try to constrain my proportions to more of a photographic size. So I'm going to go with 5 by 7. And even though it is in sort of a landscape mode, if you will, you can turn it into a portrait mode. So I like that. And I just center it up real just the way I want it and then all you do is you hit apply now I've cropped it so very very simple you also have a similar function with rotate if your pictures off alignment or off center a little bit you can rotate it just a little bit uh, the tool works great but this is fine for now the other tools uh, that I really like are exposure and uh, some of the coloration things they have but uh, each of the tools seems to have an automatic fix so I say I want auto exposure in my case it brought down the exposure a little bit. It was a little too blown out, so it it uh, fixed it a little bit. But it's great. You can you can manipulate it any way you want. I think what it did with the auto exposure was fantastic. I see a little more of sort of the ruffles that are in his suit that I didn't see before. So I, okay, that looks good. I'll apply that. Uh, I'll get into the coloration. Auto colors will try to pick the colors that you want, but I'm going to go with saturation. I'm a big fan of a little bit of saturation inside of photographs, uh, so I'm just going to pull it up just a little bit. Now you can see how the colors pop out, especially like in his tie and, and on the back wall. That's actually a more photorealistic representation of the wall. Uh, the, the color on the wall in the bank there. So uh, temperature is another one. You can go extremely hot or you can go extremely cool depending on your, your preference. So I'm going to stay about neutral with it. Uh, I'll apply that. The other thing that it has is called uh, sharpen and that's to make the picture a little more sharp and it actually probably will help out my picture just a little bit because it was a little bit soft on the focus. So I'm going to bring up the sharpness. I mean these are great tools. You pay a lot of money for a program like Photoshop to do pretty much this which is free inside of uh, Google Plus. Uh, the clarity tool, I haven't found a huge success on this but it does do a little more clear. I mean, you can see how the picture's almost in focus now, so it's fixed some of the issues that it's had. And then finally, there's a tool called Unsharp Mask, and that really gives a lot more, uh, I guess you, you could call it, it's, it becomes more photographic looking when you apply it. Now, I tried this before. It did not work all that well, but we can try to do some of the strength of the Unsharp Mask, and you can see it's not doing a lot, but it. But Unsharp Mask is a great tool on some photographs uh, because it makes it look like you took it on a film camera and then you brought it, uh, you digitally scanned it or something like that. So I'm good there, and certainly there's resize. If I want this to be a little more of an even number, like I say, I want this to be, uh, I don't know, 400 wide by 560, I can do that. You can do it in percentages if you wanted the photo to be half 
half the size. Don't scale up, of course. Uh, scaling up is, is uh, you know, will pixelate the picture. So all of those look good. I'm pretty happy with it. I apply. And then, and then there are some effects that you can apply to it. So I like the way it looks right now. Uh, but I still have the option of bringing in some effects. Uh, the one that I did like is sort of the, the Polaroid Plus. Uh, I put that on there and suddenly you have a great uh, Polaroid picture. It's kind of cute. Uh, so this gets into more personal stuff, I would say, but you can just play around with all the diff different uh, effects that you can apply to it. Uh, and then finally a decorate tool uh, so I might want to add like for example a caption to this and I say I'm gonna add a speech bubble and I think I will throw in say this one here and I just oh, you can double click on it or you can actually drag it over I double clicked on it in this case and I say oh well the speech bubbles kinda going the wrong way I can flip it very easily with some of the tools on, that are on here. I can also change the color by just dragging around this color palette. Very cool, very cool. It makes things a lot easier. I might want to blend it into the wall a little bit, but no, I'm going to say, and of course you can type in uh, HTML values. So if I wanted black, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, enter, and now it's black. If you know your HTML uh, color values, you can do that. I'm going to stick with a white bubble and uh, I'll just take it like this and I'll put it down here now how do you add the text that's in the bubble well uh, you can just simply go to the text panel so just to show you one last little bit about these other things that they have in here it's kinda more goofy sort of decorations they put on there I can put a little mustache on myself that kinda thing but um, the next thing of course is the text you can label it so I say oh I want this to be um, action is the you know setting up the shot like that and then I want that to be impact font and I add it and there it is so now the action of course you're gonna have to get a little contrast oh wait a minute it looks to me like oh, no okay so action and then I can size it down and that's an awful color but we'll just go over here in reddish there we go so that's it that's what I wanted for my picture I think this program is fantastic it can save you a few hundred dollars on uh, editing you could throw up any number of photos you wanted in there and of course when you save it you can either replace the existing photo or save a new copy I always save a new copy I, I don't know why I'm just that way but uh, that's it. It makes it super simple to do that. And uh, once it's saved it, I go, OK. And that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and tag this as me, Mark Petrie, and uh, save it back to my Google account. And that's it. And there it is, right inside my. So you can compare it against the original photo versus the enhanced photo. Creative Kit is a great tool. Uh, free service again by Google. Love it. Play with it all you want. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Thanks.